You know that quiet feeling. Everything seems calm. Too quiet, actually. You get this strange idea. You feel like something massive is about to start happening. That is the exact situation right now in Cupertino. The tech world is always watching the big announcements. Everyone talks about the new iPhones and the new Mac computers. But while the spotlight is over there, Apple is working in silence. They are quietly building something groundbreaking. This new project is specifically for your living room. It is something far more advanced than a simple streaming box. It is the next Apple TV 4K. This is not just a standard new model release. It is a fundamental transformation. This device will change how your entire home entertains you. It will change how all your smart devices respond to you. It will change how every device connects seamlessly. Today, we are going to dig deep. We look at all the leaks. We examine all the rumors. We listen to the whispers you have not heard anywhere else. Then we explain what this giant shift will mean for you. This is an upgrade that changes everything. Let's start with a simple but strong signal. Take a look at the Apple stores right now. Apple has been running very low on stock for a while. The inventory is low for both the current Apple TV units and the popular HomePod minis. This is not a random inventory problem. This is certainly not a simple coincidence. One of TechRar's trusted reports points this out. National level stock shortages hint very strongly at a major event. It suggests that new versions are arriving soon. The old devices are clearing out quickly. The stage is being prepared right now. The countdown has begun for an important product launch. Then we must talk about the code leaks. These leaks are found hidden deep inside the tvOS software versions. Software testers and developers found important references. They found hardware identifiers that do not officially exist yet. We see references like Model 9.3 or Apple TV 1. These are cryptic little bits of information, but they point to major new features. They point to future camera support. They point to next generation Wi-Fi 7. They also point directly to Apple intelligence features. These pieces of code are not just hopeful fan wishes. They're solid breadcrumbs. They come straight from Apple's own device firmware. This is the real evidence that something big is coming. So the big question is, what should we really expect to see? What amazing features will be included when this new device finally goes live? We must start by looking at the brain of the whole system. Let's start with a new chip. The current Apple TV model uses the A15 Bionic chip. It is a good chip, but multiple trustworthy guides and analysts now confirm the next model. They all point to the device using the powerful A17 Pro chip. This is the exact same chip. It is the one currently found inside the flagship iPhone 15 Pro. This chip provides a massive leap in power. It offers console-level GPU performance. This means it can handle real-time ray tracing support. This is hardware built specifically for on-device intelligence. In leaked internal documents, the A17 Pro is credited with a 6-core GPU. It mentions multiple BVs or big event variables for graphics processing. This is a technical way of saying one thing. It means your Apple TV could soon play complex games. These games previously required a dedicated, expensive console to run. And yes, it means powerful AI capabilities are baked right into the hardware. This new box does not just stream your shows anymore. It watches how you watch. It adapts to your habits. It learns your preferences. It suggests content with a new level of intelligence. Next up, let us discuss connectivity. Apple is apparently going all in on this area. The reports mention a new system called Proxima or an N1 wireless subsystem. This new hardware is inside the next Apple TV. It will bring support for Wi-Fi 6E. Some advanced rumors even suggest the next-generation Wi-Fi 7 standard. It will also have full thread and matter support. These are vital for all your smart home devices. It includes improved Bluetooth, possibly the 5.3 Plus standard. What does all that technical jargon actually mean for you? It means your living room will become ultra-connected. It will not be slow or laggy anymore. Your smart home gadgets will not be scattered everywhere. Instead, everything will talk to everything else instantly. Everything will sync up perfectly. Everything will respond immediately. Imagine this scenario. Your ambient lights, 
your home thermostat, your smart speakers, and your security camera feed. All of them are coordinated perfectly. They're all controlled by this one small Apple TV box. And here's the best part. Because the chip is fast enough, it handles all this locally. It does the processing right on the device. This makes privacy real, not just a marketing word. Your data stays in your home. Now, we get to one of the juiciest rumors we have heard. This one is truly shocking. We're talking about a built-in camera. Yes, many reliable insiders believe this next model will include one. It will be a front-facing ultra-wide camera. This camera is not just for simple video chat. Its uses go far beyond just FaceTime on the big TV screen. This camera will enable advanced features. It suggests gesture control. It could do motion sensing. It could even support future AR overlays on your screen. Think about the possibilities this opens up. You could wave your hand to instantly skip a show. You could nod your head to quickly approve a rental movie purchase. The TV will know you just enter the room. It will switch your profile automatically without you touching a remote. This sounds truly futuristic, but the leaks suggest we may be just weeks or months away from it. Of course, Apple will not ship something that feels creepy. They understand this camera conversation is loaded with major privacy concerns. But if they pull this feature off meticulously, this device becomes a new category entirely. It will not just be a streaming box anymore. It will be the central brain of your home. Let us quickly cover the external design. Sources say you should not expect a radical visual overhaul. It will likely keep the same sleek black puck design. It will have minimal branding. It will maintain the familiar Apple aesthetic. The major differences will be hidden under the hood. We expect a much better thermal design. It might have a quieter fan or maybe even be completely fanless. It will have an optimized internal layout. It is possible it will even be a slightly smaller form factor. But the massive upgrade is not the shell. It is the software. It is the new chip. It is the network intelligence. Apple knows the high-end hardware changes are visible. But the hard, important work happens internally. Now, we look at the ecosystem strategy. Apple has recently rebranded its streaming service. Apple TV Plus is now simply called Apple TV. This move is far deeper than just a simple name change. The hardware box, the app you use, and the content service now share one single name. When you buy the Apple TV, you're buying content, the device itself, and the entire ecosystem. All of it is under one unified roof. This is not just about the set-top box. It is about creating a perfect, holistic user experience. The name change is a clear signal of this intent. Add to this the speculation about an ad-supported tier in the service. They may offer cheaper entry points to the content. They may offer bundling with other services like Apple Arcade or News. Apple is strategically positioning itself to capture more living rooms. They want to lock in more users faster than ever before. Finally, we talk about price, timing, and the release window. These are the details that truly matter to the customer. Analyst notes suggest the next Apple TV could launch in the fall of 2025. That is generally September through December. Some reliable rumors point to an announcement as early as October. More importantly, the whispers about a price drop are very loud. We hear about a version under $100. Yes, Apple might be doing a budget option. Why would Apple do this? Because the hardware margins barely matter to them. What matters is locking someone into the services and the ecosystem for years. Imagine getting this powerful Apple TV 4K 2025. You get it for a price below $100. Then you pay month to month. You pay for Apple TV content. You pay for Apple Arcade games. You pay for Fitness Plus classes. You pay for the secure iCloud storage. The device itself becomes a simple gateway. The revenue then flows to Apple slowly over a very long period of time. Let's shift gears completely now. We need to talk about the experience. What will your life actually look like with this incredible new box in your home? You walk into your living room after a long, exhausting D. I. The TV screen immediately comes alive. It happens before you even touch the remote control. The ambient lights in the room gently adjust themselves. The Apple TV senses that you enter the room. It knows your profile instantly. 
It knows you usually prefer a drama series at nighttime. It waits right at your spot in the last show you paused. You then speak the command out loud. You say, Hey Siri, continue where I left off. The TV response is fast, intuitive, and completely seamless. It just does it. Now your kids walk into the room. The profile automatically switches in the blink of an eye. Cartoon suggestions appear on the screen immediately. You pick up your phone to call a friend or your family. The big television screen switches automatically to FaceTime. The new built-in camera perfectly frames your face. The integrated microphone picks up your voice clearly. The powerful TV speakers handle the whole call audio. Later, you grab a game controller. The Apple TV instantly loads a full-fledged console-quality game. The graphics are absolutely stunning. The input lag is negligible. Your simple living room just instantly became your dedicated gaming den. And behind all this magic, the rest of your home is working. Your lights, your door lock, your smart thermostat, they all sync up. They all respond together as one system. Everything is protected by Apple's secure ecosystem. But we must talk about the risks. Privacy is the big battlefield here. We're talking about built-in cameras. We're talking about microphones. We're talking about AI constantly keeping track of your home habits. If this is not done perfectly, users will immediately flee. They will feel uncomfortable. Apple has stepped heavily into on-device processing to combat this fear. The core message must be simple. Keep your personal data local. No server-side profiling of your life. That clear privacy message must come through. Otherwise, this promising new device instantly becomes creepy. Instead of feeling seamless, it will feel like surveillance. Apple's entire reputation will hinge on how they talk about this risk. So, let us recap everything we know now, what we believe, and what we are about to get. We know that Apple's inventory on current models is very low. This is a telltale sign of an impending launch. We know that the firmware leaks point to new hardware identifiers. They point to camera support. They point to clear intelligence hooks in the code. We strongly believe the next Apple TV will pack the incredible A17 Pro chip. Some leaks suggest an even newer A18 chip in some variants. We believe it will have a brand new wireless chip. This means Wi-Fi 6E or Wi-Fi 7. It means full thread and matter support. This will give it vastly improved smart home control. We expect the possible built-in camera. This enables gesture controls. It enables hands-free FaceTime on the TV. We expect the launch this fall 2025. We expect a possible sub-dash dollar 100 entry model. We expect Apple's full ecosystem strategy. This ties hardware plus service plus the user experience into one unified product. This is my best opinion on this product. The new Apple TV 4K 2025 is not just an incremental update. It is the single most important hardware product Apple will release for the home in the next five years. The combination of the A17 Pro chip, the potential for true AI integration, and a low price point transforms it from a luxury streaming box into a must-have computational hub for the modern smart home. If these rumors are true, especially the sub-dash dollar 100 entry price, this device changes the entire landscape. It allows Apple to own the living room. It secures the future of their entire services revenue stream. If you're thinking about buying a streaming box today, stop. You absolutely must wait for this model. This is not just version 4 of a set-top box. It is the next major step in living room computing. When Apple finally hits play on the stage and the lights dim under that glowing Apple logo, do not expect a simple product reveal. Expect a narrative shift in the tech world. This is a move from simple screens to complex intelligence. It is a move from the remote control to ambient understanding. It is a move from passive viewing to active connected living. The new Apple TV 4K 2025 might just change the way your home breathes and functions. So stay tuned for the next announcements. Watch the inventory levels closely. Decode all the new rumors as they app. AR, keep a keen eye on Apple's upcoming October or November announcements. Because when this device finally lands, if you are ready for it, you will step right into the future of your home. If you are not ready, you will still be playing catch up with old technology.
Apple is not just launching a new box. They are building the powerful backbone of your next generation home. And that, my friends, is absolutely worth waiting for. If you like the video, subscribe, share the video, and hit the bell icon.